I think I'm behind it. No turrets are going off. And, oh, I heard something just turn on. Oop. That's a missile launcher that just looked right at me. Which I think it's okay. It's not going to attack me, I think. I'm just going to grind down down here. I think this is going to have some ice, so we got to be careful of it popping out. Oh! Alright, so there's definitely something there. Don't know exactly what. Um, we just gotta be careful again. We were safe to go behind it. All right, here we go. We're behind it again. I don't know what shot me. Something inside. Oh, there's the turret. I see it now. That's what got me. Okay, so what I can do is sneak around it to take it out, but I can also be smart about this and <laughs> take some stuff back first so we don't have to be too worried about it. Alright, so our ship might not even be able to handle all this material. And we know... That the back is this way. So we're going to fly back here. And only stay. Less than a kilometer away. Why? Because the, the distance of everything that's there. Probably. Is about 800 to 600 only. Hopefully. <laughs> so maybe 1.5. We should be feeling a little comfortable. I'm trying to get on the back of it. So we have to worry too much about getting shot at. All right, I think that's good. We can move up just a little bit further. That's fine. All right, let's stay here. That should be okay. So if I get shot, I could get to it fairly quickly anyways. All right, we could sneak up on the turret somehow and dismantle it. We don't have to do the shooting game here because we we are behind it. So I don't know how many turrets there are, but I know there was one there. And there's a missile launcher here, which I'm not worried about that. More or less that one. Oh, that interior turret. So I have to find a way to get underneath it, if anything. Okay, so the turret is right over there somewhere. Yeah, so I could hopefully get underneath it. I don't know what's in here. Hopefully there's no turret in here. But if I could see the turret, this is the missile launcher. The turret was... Oof, I can't see exactly where it is. Hold on. That's the missile launcher. The turret was behind the missile launcher, which is right there. Ow, 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 ow. So it's roughly around here. And it might be sitting on this O2H2 right here. Yes, it is. So take that out. And we should be okay. I hope. <laughs> So, all right, that turret is definitely offline, but the ice we could definitely use. So let's head back to the respawn pond. I'm still going to be cautious and not bring this thing too close. But I think we just struck gold. So now we have to steal plates to weld up what we wanted to weld up. And that's right up here. All right, so I should really take out the missile launcher. And then we could not be too, too worried about it. But again, I think we struck goat here. This is 
Good find. Luckily, I decided to do this instead of go look for that base. All right, this is getting a little dicey in too close. All right, we are good there. All right, let's let's do that. All right, I'm gonna toss these out because these are respawn tools. I'm not gonna cheese it there, and have that resources. I could turn it off in terms of the settings. I probably will do that, but let's get rid of the turret first, and then scout around to see if there's any more weapons. And there is. <laughs> okay. So it was turrets on two sides, two fronts. I'm gonna grab that. Um turret on this side is gone, right? Oh, that's a turret right there. But oh, there's a large card. I'm not gonna oop, that's a turret right there. Um we gotta go around it. And by around that, I mean go from the inside, I guess. And it was around here, I think. Where is that? Here? No, that's the large car container. I wish I could see it. <laughs> but I don't. Where is it? Oh, right there. So it's in front of this one. And on this thing, which is another O2H2, I believe. Yeah. So I just gotta take it out. There you go. Alright, so the inventory is completely full. I think we're set. I believe. Can we. Does this space have enough power? Can we load stuff in here and not have to worry about unbeat and unbeat taking them out? Alright, we're good here. That's good. So we could find a way to get connected if we need to. And load up the ship. Although, we probably are going to end up spending some time loading up the ship as a whole. Because there's, there's a lot to grab off of this thing. All right, this large car container needs to be hacked. <laughs> all right, this is now mine, and there's nothing in there. So I could toss all this in here if I need to. And I think I have free range now to kind of explore this whole base. This scared me for a second, but we took that out, so we should be okay. Okay, so it looks like this ship is revolving around that large car container. Ooh, there's a hydrogen as well, which I might be able to salvage out of it decently. Oxygen tanks. Lots of merge blocks. Which way does this thing fly? I think it flies that way. Yeah, it looks like it. And here's the... MPC emitter. There's a lot of parts here. Lots and lots. A bunch of superconductors in there too. That's definitely worth it. Cryo and everything. Should we just rebuild this? <laughs> we could attach our our ship onto this and rebuild it. I think we should do that. I really think that's a that'll be a fun idea. Huh. I don't know where that thing went. Anyways, yeah, I think we could do that. I think we should rebuild this thing. This looks like a pretty cool ship. This is the front, it looks like. Yeah, where the control seat is. And it has all this craziness. So we could dismantle a lot of this craziness if we need to. But we could keep the top piece and plug in the, the, the our ship onto here. Our respawn pod so right now as it stands this kind of looks like the original respawn pod 
a little bit. That's interesting. What is this? Um, take it out here. Oh, this is probably what I was taking. Uh, right, this thing just lost all its power. But that's not a good thing. <laughs> Let's check this thing out. This thing has no batteries. What is, what's it running off of? Yeah, it has no batteries. What is this thing running off of? So this that's the, not a good sign. Um, I mean, it has solar panels and everything like that too. But that is what it's not running off of. Everything's offline. So putting our ship here will be quite costly unless we can get the hydrogen out of this without doing any craziness. But I think we could connect to it. If we wanted to. So we could do get rid of the connectors here. Do that anything in there? No. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a connector. And a tube. I'm gonna throw it up here on top because that's where our connector is, is on the bottom. Alright, we need a conveyor junction somewhere. And like I said, we could take it from the bottom. We need to. Yep, we take this one. So the hydrogen tank, I have to hack it, which that may entail getting rid of all the hydrogen, which is not something I want to do. So only one tank, and it's completely filled. So if I can find a way to extract it out then we should be fine. But if I can't extract it out, then that's a problem. Not sure what all these buttons do. I don't think we need it, so let's just dismantle it. Um, programming block, we don't need. We, we don't have to worry about these things anytime soon. There's a timer block there too. Uh, lots and lots of buttons. And yeah, lots of things we need to do to make this thing airtight as well. <laughs> um, oh, I needed that conveyor junction to be done. And I'll bring my ship over. This thing ran out of power, so I'm not going to be worried about weapons. I thought that was a person for a second there. <laughs> All right, let's slide on over. I think we would even have enough for a jump drive, which would be awesome. Quick, quick progression in this case. But we do have to spend some time to fix it up and adjust the ship a little bit according to our liking. <laughs> and kind of get it settled in I, I if i go in there and connect i kind of don't want to connect because it's going to kill my batteries i think depending on what's running there or running from that thing but we'll see once we connect to see how much power it's using and if we decide to un unhook off of it we should unhook off of it all right so that's the connector right there that means I'll just pitch ever so slightly. Start dropping down a bit. I wish I did install the camera panning because this is a little bit difficult to see without it. And I'm also upside down, which doesn't make for a fun time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to tilt a little bit. All right, I see the connector. Now, how accurate are we with the pitch? Probably not that accurate. All right, this is actually working out decently. Oh, pitching all other way. How close am I to it? I cannot tell.
Alright, I need to step out to see. I just need to go forward just a tiny bit. I'm not sure if I'm nudging this thing and moving it. Which, there's a chance that I am. Yeah, it looks like I am. So this thing might be a little bit heavy as well. So I'm not sure if I can even hold it up. With just my iron thrust. Where am I on this now? Come on. A little bit more forward. There we go. Let's connect on. And let's see if we can slow it down. It looks like we're floating a little bit, but that's not good. Ever so slightly. Um, our hydrogen tank that we have, can we stockpile? Yes, we can stockpile off of that hydrogen tank, so that's good. So that should help a bit with the power. So that means the hydrogen engine should be able to grab from there. Hopefully. Okay, so we got to get rid of stuff that is killing our power for sure. So, let's get rid of everything here on the side, since we definitely don't need all this craziness. Oof. That was a large, I mean a heavy armor. Heavy armor block, right there. Lots of metal grids. We pretty much hit the jackpot for this whole entire scenario here. <laughs> All right, so the plan is to kind of knock off the bottom piece here. We don't really need it, but it does have the solar panels down there. So I'm going to have to keep that a little bit. Well, let's get rid of all this on the sides first. And, set, and see what we need and what we don't need. All right, looks like there's a hydrogen engine, not engine, um, thruster down here that's connected all the way up there. All right, so this ship is supposed to be facing this way in a very vertical type of ship. Yeah, it looks like it, and it's hydrogen based. So I feel like I should just chop off this whole bottom piece and savor, savor, save the solar panels elsewhere. I want to maintain the uh, the shape of this here a little bit. But there's a lot of stuff that we need to take over as well. But I'm surprised that there's no batteries on here. Um, we got to build some oxygen tanks as well and extract it off of this. Because I don't want to waste it by take, dismantling it and lose out the oxygen when I could just utilize that oxygen for myself, basically. <laughs> All right, so before we go the route of taking these out, yeah, definitely put some oxygen tanks somewhere safe so that we can extract out all of that in here. Let's start rebuilding the floors a little bit. See what we're working with. Alright, so I'm able to move this thing ever so slightly, so that's not too bad. I don't know how long we can stay here without getting shot shot down by something. But so far, so good. I, I think I could fly this thing a little bit, right? It's a little heavy. 
Yeah, it's definitely a little heavy. But I am able to move it ever so slightly. And it's not really going anywhere. Power-wise is what I'm worried about. Seven hours of power left. All right, so that's not too bad. Because there's a lot of hydrogen, so we're good there. We also have ice, so our O2H2 system must be running on overdrive at this point. <laughs> so there's that. So I think we should be okay. Yeah, so I am going to chop off the bottom. I might keep that hydrogen tank down there for now. Until I run out of it, then I will maybe replace it elsewhere. But for the time being, I think it's best to just keep it there. And it doesn't even look that bad either. So we'll just see how that kind of goes. This one should probably have ice. So let's just gift that to ourselves as a gift. Oh, no. Does not have ice. Interesting. <laughs> okay. We put a hole here. We'll cover that up. And I guess O2H2s were all listed enlisted here. Yeah, that, that's where that all was. Oop. All right, we could fix the exterior a little bit. I'm not going to have the those hydrogen tanks up and running. Not just yet, at least. We're going to take out this timer block. We don't need that. We can rebuild the door if we want to. Uh, get rid of the button. We don't need a button. Okay, let's rebuild the door. Should be, a, be able to do so. Nope, we have no glass, so we can't really... You know, well, we'll take this door. Actually, nope, that door didn't have glass either. So that might be an issue that we're going to run into. We'll just take it out. There's so many timer blocks here for some reason. We'll take that as well. We could open this up. We don't need some of these columns here. Right? Yeah, we don't need this passage along with this although that could probably stay to connect the base no of the thing no we should be okay get rid of that all right we'll turn put this together it's the lights that are kind of making that sound where's that connected to oh a vent we don't need that many vents what's going on here This ship has many, many vents for whatever reason. <laughs> Two back here, and then there was another one here, I guess. We'll get rid of those. Get rid of the button. Okay. So that's looking good. We definitely need glass. Um, to... To situate some of these issues. And fix out the exterior a little bit more. I honestly didn't even see this before. De decommissioned. <laughs> so that's what this is. A decommissioned ship. I'm not even sure what this LCD is supposed to have. But if I rebuild it. Will we be able to tell? We have no displays. Can we make displays? Yes. Perfect. Alright, nothing was on there, it just says online, so 
not gonna worry about that. All right, so what is gonna happen is basically we need to look at the other side to figure how to rebuild this to make it symmetrical. <laughs> um, that's probably gonna take a bit of time to do. But we will take the time to do it because we want to preserve this ship as much as possible. Um, for now, I should try to find a spot for an oxygen tank so I could get rid of that. I'm going to stockpile that out. I could put it here for now. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Do we have enough mats for an oxygen tank is the biggest question. We'll put it here. I don't think we have large steel tubes, do we? No, we don't. Can we produce large steel tubes? We need 10. I think we can. Nope, we can't. So we need to dismantle a few things, which will be probably steel plates at this point. <laughs> okay, that should be enough to get me to my 10 large steel tubes. Yes. All right, let's dismantle more steel plates just in case we need more iron. All right, we got our oxygen tank. And what we can do is stockpile this one on. And hopefully it takes from the bottom and not the top oxygen tank. Or what we can do is tell this one to stockpile on as well. And that should get rid of all the oxygen out of this thing here. And hopefully it is. And then we can get rid of these oxygen farms as well because we don't necessarily need it. Okay, so this oxygen tank is still not completely drained out. I wonder why. That's drained out. That's drained out. Well, we stockpiled it. Is there another one somewhere? Kind of weird that it's only 50%. <laughs> when... Oh, you know what? Um, It's these O2H2 system that may be the problem no well this one that i have might be the culprit of doing that so i don't know if we could turn it off if i turn it off it's all connected here so that's an interesting concept <laughs> or interesting problem to have So we may have to take the ice out of it if it has ice. Nope, there's no ice in there whatsoever. So I killed all my ice just like that. <laughs> Which is fine. We don't really need ice. Anyways, we have hydrogen. And oxygen. So what happened to it? My O2 system's here. Yeah, it... I don't see how that's a problem. Uh, access denied still. Okay, that's fine. We can always take it out and replace it. But I'm just going to leave it there as a marker. We can get rid of this. Okay, so another oxygen tank, I guess, might help. And we could throw it right above. Right here. I think 
think we gotta produce more large steel tubes if we can. stockpot on that as well and that should get rid of that oxygen i might have to move if that thing's gonna come my way hopefully not <laughs> all right let's kill these for now oh i see the oxygen tank there's a few right over here as well that's why so this one should be empty i want to say so we can get rid of it And that's part of the ship style. So we need to preserve that. This one as well. So we need to put like a conveyor junctions or tubes and pipes. Because this one's a little bit more connected to the thrusters. So we could definitely gotta do that. So where's our pipes? We'll throw in a few pipes here. then we have that so access to that grid unfriendly so i think we have to get rid of these in order to make that work um yeah so this one should be all gone because i think if you hacked it that way you still lose oh no you don't lose it all okay well it's only point one three. whatever we'll get rid of that one we don't necessarily need it That thing is getting relatively close. But I think it's not really going my way. So we should be okay. Uh, but to be on the safe side, we should start getting going really, really soon. Alright, so the ship is looking like it's not getting too close to us, so we should be okay. Um, luckily, so we don't have to fly this thing, which would be probably difficult to fly without the hydrogen thrusters on. Don't know why I can't transfer this stuff into a large container or a large cargo. Yeah, I can't. And it's likely because of this thing here. But... If I dis if I hack it, would it lose the hydrogen? I'm not 100% sure. It looked like it was okay for the for the oxygen tank, so we might be okay. But I'm probably just gonna build a new one actually and utilize it for ourselves. But I don't even know where I want to place at this point. But I'll find a spot. In a second, let me just transfer this stuff out and then move it over into um, this large car container. It looks like we have some glass, so that kind of works out. And right, we can get rid of this. And we can preserve that look. I actually like that look. I should adopt that later down the line. Okay, the large cargo container we could leave like that. Where's the tail end? The tail end is here. So I want to put the hydrogen tank here, I think. I'll open it up a little bit.
And we could use the industrial one if we wanted to. Instead of the regular one. So if we do... This one will look like this. Or we go industrial and go like this. <laughs> I think we do the industrial for fun. And that way if we need to, we can do a... Extremely, extremely... A big hydro thruster right here and look decently. Uh, well, it looks okay. Mm, that does look a little odd. All right, let's just stick with the original tank for now. <laughs> Let me just stick it like that. All right, so why can I not stick this one on? Oh, these are floating. Okay, let's get that off. So we are slightly moving, it looks like. Or... Oh no, that piece is connected, but this is not for some reason. So let me, what is this one? Okay, so we'll just place that here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's put in this tank if we can. Hopefully we have all the parts for it. And we do. All right, so we could stockpile this for sure. And that should get rid of all the hydrogen that's in here. The small tank that we have is pretty much pointless. So it's not going to fill up this whole tank too, too much. How much we have here? 99.7. All right. This can go away. And if I were to hack it, would have preserved it? I don't know. <laughs> we killed all the hydrogen out of it anyway. So let's get rid of this tank. Ooh. We could technically add another tank as well. Because it's lengthy enough to do so. We could, but we're not going to right this moment, so we'll get rid of that. And we are looking pretty good here. So, to preserve the look here a little bit, that's fine. And we can close this up if we need to. So... Definitely don't need heavy armor blocks down here. Okay, so how should we do this? Mm. Probably just a half block, kind of like that. So we need to do this, I guess. Yeah, looks like it. And then we'll do the half block. Is this just floating? I think so. And we could continue to do half blocks out this way. And do something like that as a possibility. Here. That might look decent. There may be a block that fits this. Right there. Perfect. Right, so that's the bottom of the ship. It looks like... Alright, there's another... NPC shield controller. Oop. I didn't really mean to 
dismantle it all the way. I was gonna actually just hack it, but whatever. All right, we could fix this up a little bit later down the line. But it looks like we could do some more half block situations here. Like so. And just kind of preserving the former look of it. I need to get some power on myself. And then I gotta find a way to merge the space pod with it. Because I do want to put the space pod on this as well. Make it look decent. So maybe do like half of it within this new ship somehow. So like half of this here will be merged on top. So potentially I could get rid of this part right here. This roundabout. Maybe. And just sink the ship in there. It's an idea, but we still got to finish out figuring out how to <laughs> do all this piece. Which looks uh, pretty interesting to build out. And then it has the tail end, which is pretty cool too. Kind of looks like this piece was using this. Kind of like that, right? No, is it the opposite? Like that. Yeah, we can do that. Might as well. But I really, what it was an O2H2 system that was there, which we should probably consider putting back there too. So we can get more hydrogen out of it. But not worried about it just yet. Okay, that preserved the look of it. The thrusters we could probably put back on. Once we take them out. You know, these things we don't really necessarily need to hack. But I'm just gonna do that anyways. We'll just take these out and put them back on. Kind of replacing them with the industrial version. Right now, where was the backwards thrust? <laughs> where was that located? Because it's not here in front. So we definitely need to add some or one down there somewhere. Um, You would think it would be on the side like this one, right? But I don't think it is. No, it doesn't seem like it is. We got to add it on the bottom somehow. So I'm not even sure. Yeah, I think we could incorporate this down here, actually. So it's going to sit on top. Um, we'll work on that later down the line. Right now, more importantly, we want to fix up the ship as much as possible. To make it airtight and everything like that. And this becomes a pretty roomy spot, actually. For sure. There we go. That's not looking too bad. Um, we just got to round it out once again. I'm not even sure which blocks are which, but we will definitely figure that out. Luckily, we still have that one side preserved. We did edit the bottom here a little bit to make it look decent. So not too worried about that. But lots more to come on this thing. So we got to fix this up uh, fairly quickly too. So we can start moving it about. But we have a ton of materials now. So basically, we are running off a large cargo container that's located beneath this. But actually, let's see here. So we have some things that are still access denied. Well, a few air vents. Some 
So Brussels isn't complete. So it's um, air vents here. So now that's mine. This one too. What else is there? Everything else. We have a corner light incomplete. Incomplete. I don't care about incomplete. Panels. There's a door still around. And that's about it. That's not too bad. Alright, so it's this panel. That says decommission. And probably this one as well. Where's the other door? Is it this door? Yeah, it's this door. And the good part about having this ship is that now we can actually have weapons. But that's going to come with some responsibilities in terms of what's coming ahead of us. So we're probably going to put ourselves in danger roughly or pretty soon with that notion of threat, of threat level. So we definitely got to be a little bit on the careful side. So here's another ship that's far away, but it looks like it's getting kind of close as well. Actually, no, it's going on its own. Wait. All right, so we'll get this done relatively soon, and let's see how it goes from there. All right, so for sure the plan is going to be find a way to get this merge right into here. So we do have to back this up a little bit, and then go further, further down this way. I'm not sure why an NPC is saying. They don't feel so lonely anymore. Oh, no, that's just loading up the NPC mod. <laughs> so, yeah, we're trying to do it across from here. So, this point right here should merge and be right over here. So, that's the idea of kind of putting that together against this ship. I did kind of want to see if this kind of works. The decommissioned ship, if it works with these windows... The bridge windows. I've been wanting to really play around with these, but it never really worked out. But the way that this is built, it looks like we could potentially use these this time around. Don't know if I have all the materials for it, but let's give it a shot. I think we can get rid of this block here, and we should be able to put a window here. Yeah, that could work. So we could work with the bridge windows instead. Oh wow, some heavy armor blocks here, which makes sense because it's right in front. But why is this one half uh, a light armor? That that doesn't make sense, right? So how much glass do we have? We probably don't have much at all, right? Hmm, not enough girders, if anything. But we could definitely put in the bridge windows this way. And actually doesn't use as much glass as well. So that kind of helps. But now, how do we round it out over here is kind of the question. Looks like we could do that. I guess. But then what? <laughs> oh, we have these. So... Can we, can we just do that to start instead? So it would be that. No, we don't have that to start. So that, that's that's a stinker. All right, so we do lose a little bit of spacing here by doing these this bridge. So it would probably... Yeah, that's, that's a little awkward. <laughs> so, hmm... I feel like the bridge over there like that, but having it kind of off like that doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's take a look, get a window back up and running right over here. All right, so this doesn't work out by doing it this way. So we placed it here. It looks kind of odd. Um, How can we do this? We definitely need to do this piece here. 
And then now it just needs to find a way to connect. Okay, so the bridge windows like this doesn't really work out too well, unfortunately. It leaves us much, much more closer in into the um into the ship itself so this part gets all wasted right over here but i think i but i think it does equal out because i think that yeah because this is not a full diagonal so that's why it's kind of doing that which i guess it makes a little bit of sense but not necessarily so if we got rid of this slope block i think we could put it there, but then how do we, yeah, how do we get this all kind of even out? Do we just put a whole bunch of these? No, we can't. We put that there. And this here, then we are in a weird situation. Yeah, now that's sticking up, but that doesn't really work out at all. So this part could be the bridge window that we can get rid of. I think there is a window that can get us situated right over here, which may be, I don't think it's going to be, mm, that could work out. Okay. So we need to flip it over. So we need the non inverted version of that. Ooh. Okay. So it looked like this and that but we gotta face it but we need to use but we need to use the inverted version right there all right so that eh, more or less looks okay I, I don't like the line that's split right in the middle obviously but i mean what other options do we have <laughs> we can't get rid of the lcds we definitely don't need that and we could put a helm instead of the seat. But I think that will be okay. And then from there, we got to fix this up. I need to get to flat. Um, Or, or would I even get it to flat? I feel like that's going to be a problem, actually. So, like, even this is, like, kind of leaking into, into this part of the... The window here um how would we even get that to be even now or do we not do that okay let's just see what that looks like if i keep going with this look here i think it, it kind of will work out okay um maybe <laughs> okay so that will round it out and look a little bit better. That's not terrible, but it's not also that great either. Uh, it doesn't take too much girders. Can we produce more? Right, we have a decent amount of iron, actually. So that's not too bad. I mean, I didn't even really take too much time looking at inventory. We do have field emitters as well, so that's useful. Um, ooh, 404 metal grids. That's even, even better. Um, we do have a refinery, so I'm not sure why this didn't pull up. Okay, so this not connected into my refinery. Oh, wait, the re basic refinery won't be able to take care of that, I think. So we're going to have to move forward to a larger, more, better refinery in this case. Yeah, so I like the bridge window look but i hate this part but not much we could do about it and having it kind of crisscross like this with the window would look decent the only thing is now we got to find a block that fits this so then we could situate this part a little bit better which i'm pretty sure we could find a decent block for this piece to kind of tie that out And maybe this would work okay because it's got, it preserves that half block look. Maybe. 
And we can leave the back like this. I'm not going to mess around with the back to make it look too crazy. Um, ooh, lost the sun there. So we just need to use a few blocks here to kind of match it out like that. That kind of fixes the top. And... So, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to mimic the whole entire thing. This is the regular light armor corner. Okay, so that's fine. So this might be as simple as it can get. In some ways. To get this all rounded out into this UFO-like situation. Alright, so that's looking too pretty good. Alright, I know I mentioned where was the backward thruster. The backward thruster was down here. Um with that one going backwards so i guess we could add one here if we need to for now so we stick that there we have all the other directions back here we need two actually so um we could do that a little bit better uh i'll leave it for now but i like the ufo like piece up here i'm trying to preserve it as much as possible and it's looking pretty good right this moment. So that's good. So we just got fixed everything over here. Which it looks like is using most of these kind of um, corner pieces. So it'll be something like that. Ooh, actually, is it that one? No, it's not. I think it's using something a little bit on the smaller side. Actually, it would have been... No, it would be this one? Yeah. And then it has that tip here. Right? Yep. And then it does the same on the bottom, which we already have the tip. The only problem I'm going to run into now is kind of resolving all the issues of the color scheme. <laughs> As it's a little off. Oh, actually, what is this then? Okay, so that's going that way. Which block is this? It is that armor tip block. Why is it kind of like that? It's seemingly a little bit weird. So why can't I? No, it's not that block, is it? Now, what block is this? Light armor inverted corner. Uh, it would be this one, okay. Or not necessarily this one, but this one. There we go. All right, so we got ways to ways to go in terms of putting that all back together, but we're getting there ever so slowly. And I think we should be able to get this done in the next episode, if anything. And get it airtight and everything like that. The good thing about this, um, well, not really. I was hoping we could put some. Actually, we could put some lights here, if anything. Whether it's um these lights, corner lights, or even a search light, if anything. We should be able to put it here. Yeah, it's gonna look a little weird. Probably do that. Or search lights could kind of work. Or even spotlights could work over there too. We'll hold off on that for a sec. But yeah, this is this combination of these corner bases and everything like that and the triangles. So it it all kind of works decently. Let me try to put the top piece here first. Before we go. So it's that way and then we do the opposite direction on top, it looks like, right? Are we able to do that? Alright, so I'm kind of not sure why I'm putting together the top half. Because <laughs> eventually I am going to get rid of it to merge that ship. But before I merge that ship, I need to get batteries onto this ship. And the hydrogen's up and running so that we don't push it nudge it and make it fly away basically 
So that's pretty much the plan. Um, going forward. But at least we know what we put down here because it's that white plastic skin look. So then we don't get too confused in terms of, you know, what we place down and everything like that. Although we shouldn't be very confused by that whatsoever. Okay, so we're getting there. Almost there. A uh, few more things to go and then should be good. Let's just put in a battery really quick too. So if, in terms of placement, I mean, we can put one right here actually. So let's just put a battery right here. I'm going to face it this way so I can see <laughs> how much power it has. So I'm thinking about 54. That should be fine. There's a mining carriage over there. There's a heavy Corvette over there. And that's kind of going towards my way. All right. So if it gets any closer, I would be in deep, deep trouble. I mean, I could fly this thing away if I have to. Um, I think it's going to be my direction slightly, but not exactly. Okay, I think it might just pass us by ever so slightly. Yeah, the kilometers are slowing down when, it can, when it's saying that it's getting closer. So it might pass us by ever so slightly, but if it gets to the 1k mark, I think we'll be in deep trouble. All right, it's slowing down significantly. So it's just a passer buyer, and I don't think he's going to get any closer than 2K. So hopefully that's the case. But I think I really do need to make a, uh, a move on this really quickly. Not to worry too much about that. And it looks like we, we are still missing silicon. So that's not good. Decommission or disassemble some glass if we can. I mean, computers have it, but what else has it? Displays. I don't want to get rid of displays. It looks like we have to. And that's it. We don't have anything else. Well, solar panels will be something as well. I mean, do I want to get rid of them? I don't want to get rid of too much. I do want to have some because I need that too. Collect some sun as well, but I think that should be it. All right, power is ready to go. So this thing's going to fully deplete in five hours, ten hours. That's fine. We'll leave it as that. All right, so I definitely will merge this up in the next episode now since I have all that. But yeah, just need to get these things up and running. I need to move the upward thrust somewhere else really quickly. And then we should be good in terms of getting this thing running and looking decent. But I'm glad we found this gold mine here with a bunch of parts. It's actually a pretty small ship, to be honest. I thought it was a lot bigger, but it's not. Um, it was more vertical, if anything, that, that made it bigger. But I reduced the size of that instead by doing the bottom piece a little longer. So we should be... In good shape but we could continue to make it a little vertical if you want to but probably not i'll probably make it a little bit longer to, on the tail end so maybe i'll put the refineries back here i don't know just an idea we'll see how that goes but we do need to completely round it out here to finish out the ship but i think we should stop from there and start kind of like dismantling this piece for now so then we can merge this part on top of it yeah, that seems to be the idea first. And then we got to find a way to get rid of this. Actually, no, we got to get rid of this and put it somewhere else. So we can have downward thrust or upward thrust, I should say. And then that way we can maneuver this thing to merge in as well. So lots to figure out, but we're getting there. This is pretty much kind of like an episode of ship evolution in a way. So once we get this all done, we can head back to the base, start doing some more trading and move on from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.